Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. I'm really sorry about the past week, but I was quite sick, and therefore I wasn't able to make as many videos. I'm still sick, and I'm probably gonna end up making a very short and easy episode today, but I just wanted to let you know that I might need to recover a little longer, but once that is over, we're gonna go back to a regular schedule. So, what can we do today? First and foremost, we can take apart this area right here, because I've essentially replaced it with something better inside of the base. Another thing we can do is uh, take apart the greenhouse slightly, so in a future episode we can improve it with all the issues fixed we, we noticed, basically, with our tests. Thirdly, we can also go mining a little bit and we can improve on the base by adding more of these sheets and kind of uh, completing it a little bit better. Yeah guys, let's actually do this. I'm gonna take everything apart right here, we're just gonna bring it over to the locker temporarily and then I want to take everything apart, get the components and the materials back and then we want to improve on the looks of the base. Of course, there are also quite a few materials that I don't really want to get rid of, such as these frames and also the iron sheets. Oh yes, of course, we're also gonna keep all of the pipes, naturally. Oh my gosh, that freaked me out! <laughs> For a moment there I forgot I'm in a game where I'm completely alone. It felt like a, a car was driving up on me or something crazy. Alright, cool, we are charging up again at a very decent rate. I think we can go ahead and actually start recycling a couple of things. I already had a few gratings in there, though the gratings we can probably use, to be honest with you. Let's just recycle everything else and also turn on the centrifuge. I'm also gonna keep the locker until we know what exactly we're gonna do with it and I'm gonna put my oxygen tanks in here. Let's actually also pick up the organic supplies. I wonder, can't we just store these eggs like in a carton? That's something I've seen. I'm too curious, I need to find this again. It was called an egg carton or something along these lines. Yes, egg carton, just above the EVA suit. Let's craft one of those. There we go, look at that! It's an egg carton that you can open up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <coughs> so I wonder, is there actually a way to get chickens in this game? I mean, this would be incredible. Let's just put in a couple of eggs right there. Oh, I love it. I love when games do things like that. This is just incredible. Now we can pick up the carton and store it in just one slot. <laughs> We also need a fridge. Okay, last thing to take apart, the cables. Then we can also take the blocks apart and expand the railing. There we go, be gone. There's actually a vent left, I totally didn't see that. You can't get away from me. Now let's see, I actually want to increase this area here a little bit. Sometimes I'm having troubles to go beneath the stairs. So we're just expanding it all the way to there. Also, of course, we already have the gratings because I saved them. I was tempted to destroy them, but... That wouldn't have been very productive. Okay, cool. I probably need about 10 more walls to finish this. I wonder if I still have some walls in store. Oh man, look at that chaos. I just can't live with that. But as a matter of fact, we haven't stored any walls, so it's probably time to craft them. Construction kit, walls. In the meantime, I'm gonna start sorting out a couple of things we don't need. For instance, this tank connector. When I need another one, I can just craft one. For the time being, I want to get my inventory sorted out. That means we should be able to get this started. I just want to complete this because it does look nice in some way or the other. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much. Let me see how far did we go right here. Definitely not far enough from the looks of it. We want to go all the way up to the stairs naturally and maybe here as well. Though we'll just take away from the solar panel's ability to catch the light. That is very intriguing, I wonder. I'm just gonna place it and once the sun comes up, we need to check if that has an impact on how much watts it can generate. But until then, let's just go ahead and craft more walls. We want to patch up a lot of the base today, if possible. Oh, actually, we're gonna run out of iron very soon, so that is the perfect excuse to go on a little mining trip. Now, I don't necessarily want to do this during the night. I think we're gonna take the next day to do that. Now thinking about it, we probably also need a whole bunch of steel sheets, so maybe we also add that to the queue. Steel sheets right there, and right now once we run out of materials, we're just gonna shut it down for the time being. There we go, we have run out of materials. How much power? 57%. I'm a little bit disappointed. Maybe it's good we go mining, so we can recover our charge for once. 
You know what? I think I'm actually gonna take apart this railing. We don't really need it at the moment. I'm also gonna take this one. There are so many parts of the base at the moment I need to cover up. I don't want to waste too much just on the railings. For instance, up here, this just doesn't look right. We need to cover this all up. Oh yeah, just imagine how much this is gonna improve the looks of the base. Also, we have plenty of space right here to add more circuits. That's something I need to keep in mind. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't even able to complete this roof here. And it's gonna be daytime in just a second. So let's prepare for our little mining trip. I'm also gonna enable the tracking beacon right there and we can go, probably, right? Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, actually, my power is low. Maybe that is a bad idea. Done it! I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Give me one of those, you take that and now we're ready to go. And the sun is up, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go mainly after iron. Maybe one or two stacks of copper could also be a good idea. Right now, we're not too successful in finding either copper or iron, but we're gonna get there. Ah, check this out. Gold, of course. Gold, I also need a stack of you. Enable the drill. Let's do this. Are you freaking kidding me? That was like three gold pieces and now we're already done with the gold. I don't need the oxide right now. But there is a humongous copper vein. I'm just gonna go with that. Alright, cool. That was actually a really good vein. There is more to get, but I do want to keep my slots open for the iron. I definitely want to grab a lot of iron and usually I clock up my stuff. So gold and iron are the only things I'm gonna take as of this point. Ah, ah, ah. This must be gold. Come to papa. Okay, that was two more gold pieces. Darn it. Ah, but we have some more here and finally the iron. Looks like a good vein this time. Oh, it's actually also a trap. Check this out. This sometimes happens. I already had my suit damaged a couple of times for falling down in situations like this. Oh, actually, we are falling, but I was ready and enabled the jetpack. Look at that. The iron is filling up so quickly. It's incredible. We are already almost full with this mining belt. So now I have exactly one stack of gold, so we're just gonna go for the iron as of this point. It's time to swap my belt, there we go, and we have plenty more space now. Guys, it doesn't really stop, and there's also a very convenient silicon vein, so I think I'm gonna grab one stack of silicon. I mean, we have enough iron after this, I do not worry. Alright, so I've been at here for like 5 minutes or so, and it still keeps going, this is just insanity. And my chat pack is low, that is bad. I need to get out of here before it is done. No. There we go, okay. Whew. Let me see, do we have some stuff in our waste tank? Not really. Okay, we need to make chat pack fuel. That is a noble goal for the next time maybe. It's already nighttime again. Well, I guess in this case I'm actually gonna pack up and go home. Get me home! 500 meters, not too bad. Of course, I came across a gold vein and, and that was just too tempting. Can't help myself. Okay, cool. Now we almost have three stacks of gold. That should be enough for quite a bit. Gold you usually don't need in large quantities. Oh, no, no, no! Ah, crap. I fell again. And now we have to use another tape. <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, we were definitely leaking. So can we make it out of here? No, my chat pack is out. So we have to drill ourselves out. My worst nightmare. Oh, actually, I have a little bit of jetpack left. I just wasn't able to hit the J button competently. There we go. Okay, it's actually almost getting daytime again, which is good because I'm gonna be smelting tons and tons of stuff today. We are currently at 58%. Uh, it's not too satisfactory, I have to say. I think we need more solar panels. I want to be able to charge up my battery. But anyways, let's see what we got here. I do want to smelt up the iron first of all. Yeah, that's the iron, so let's do that. Enable, and you go right there. Now I need to make sure that I don't actually log off while the automatic smelting is still in progress. For some reason it tends to bug out and then I have to open up the panels here and redo the circuitry. But if I have the patience and just wait until the furnace shuts down, everything is fine usually. And I guess then we can do one stack of copper, after that one stack of gold, and then it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just gonna input the rest of it as well. Except, of course, for the silicon. We can simply add that to our collection here. Perfect. In the meantime, we can re-enable the computer and it should continue crafting. I'm actually gonna add way more of these. We're also gonna make like 40 steel sheets or so. Look at that, we already have 97 ingots again. This goes really quickly with the iron. I have 646 nickel in the joint, actually. I wonder what I can use this for. 
Yes, give me all of that! Alright, let's see. Do we have enough stuff to at least finish the roof? That would be great. I'm gonna do all of the normal ones first. And after that, we're also gonna fix the windows we have. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Also, I should utilize this space to actually add more stuff. Though we can't really build on top of the roof, to be honest with you. However, we can actually finish this. All we want to do right here is a double window. Maybe that is even gonna help a little bit with the insulation, so less oxygen can escape. I'm not even sure how that works. But we're freaking ready to do this. I think I even have some of the iron sheets in here. Yeah, iron sheets 11, that's gonna be enough. And we can actually add those right here, can't we? Yes, perfect. It just makes it so much more beautiful. We can even do it right here and make this a little bit more beautiful. The pipe is gonna disappear completely once this is done. Now, one more thing you guys suggested actually is that my greenhouse has too many windows. This could totally be. I, I let too much sun in and therefore it is heating up way more than it is supposed to. So we're definitely also gonna improve on that. I'm actually gonna steal a little bit of window material in just a second. But first things first, let me grab all of my steel sheets. Thank you very much. There's even one more wall kit. Oh yeah, I definitely want to finish this. This just looks so ugly and it can be so much better. Just patch everything up here. Great. So let me think about this for just a second. We probably want these two windows because that's where the sun comes up and we want these two because that's where it goes down. Now the question is, do we need all of the ones on the top or could we get rid of, let's say, every other one? Or maybe we just keep the four that are in the center here and we take, for instance, these two guys apart. I can actually take them completely apart like that. Yes, we want to build the other type of ceiling. And the same thing right here on the other side, we take that apart as well. Now, I would like to keep at least this window here, but I don't think we need this one. And we definitely don't need a window here, for instance, or on the top. So that is going to substantially decrease the amount of windows we have at this point. Okay, now finally everything is more or less in place. I just need the steel sheets to finish it. However, now we also have the materials to actually finish this, so we shall do it. And we also have our steel sheets ready for us to take. Wow, that's a lot. But as we know, not enough. Though it is nighttime, I'm gonna shut off the computer. And I really feel like I should take a break. I shouldn't record for too long. This is already over an hour of recording, just shy of an hour. And I didn't accomplish a whole lot, I have to say. But at least I did make my base look a little bit nicer and we also collected a lot of materials. There we go, there's just this one little measly wall piece left to go. Steel sheets, that wasn't a steel sheet, uh, give me my steel sheets. There we go, so all we have to do now is take apart these windows as well. And then we're done reorganizing the greenhouse. There we go, beautiful. What do you say to that? That makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Should still be enough sunlight, but hopefully not too much. Good, now we have a little bit of time left, the furnace is still going. Remember, I cannot log off until the furnace is done, so we can just as well continue a little bit. Why the heck not? I actually don't quite have enough steel sheets to complete this roof, but you get the basic gist. It just does look so much better. Oh, I actually have two more gratings left. This is perfect, because we can add those right there. That's exactly what I was missing. Six steel sheets should be all I need to wrap this up. Let's freaking do this. We have two right here, and actually we should also do the wall on the top. What do you think? I feel like we can improve on that. Let's see, we have our iron sheets right here. We will see in a second how it looks. Uh, add that right there. Hmm, it's not too shabby actually, it's not too shabby. It might even give off a nice vibe. What do you say? I think it's definitely better. Was worth it. Alright, so one more thing I would like to test out is, can I use this tank here as an alternative for my jetpack fuel? Let me get rid of the stuff here. So for instance, I have my propellant right here. Let me grab this tank, put it out here. And if we add this one right there, then we can see the pressure is still high. Did that actually fill it up? Oh yeah, look at that. So now we have more propellant, but does it work? And... Yes, it totally works. How quickly are we using it up, though? Wow, it goes down quickly, but it's very easy to get that mixture going, so I don't really mind. Now, I totally forgot to disable my tracking beacon here. Oh, we are discharging this battery. How is this possible? Hopefully no circuits exploded. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? We have an error somewhere. Why does this have to happen to me? Right now we are not recharging anything. 
Okay, I think I can actually isolate it. It's got to be right here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Everything is fried. How is this even possible? <laughs> Oh, guys, you know what? We need to make a couple of uh, heavy circuitry stuff. Let's see. Cable coil heavy. Let's make 20 of those. Why the heck not? Also reduce this so we start crafting. In the meantime, we take more stuff apart right here so we can exactly analyze what happened. But yeah, this is from the main circuitry here, so I'm not exactly surprised this is where it happened. So basically, I'm assuming everything right here we have to exchange with the heavy copper cables. So we probably even need more than uh, the ones I crafted. I crafted like 20 of them, but let's go to 40. Does require a little bit of gold, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, let's get this started. I'm gonna need some stuff here, 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 and everywhere. Ah, uh, okay, we're finally recharging again. I exchanged most of the cables already. There's just a few more things that I need to fix, but uh, generally I think we got away with a blue eye, if that is even an expression in English. Basically means we were lucky. Let me just quickly patch this up. Alright, it looks as though we're actually not quite done with the fried circuits. There is still something that's not working and it doesn't make sense. Alright, so it does look like several things don't have power anymore and yes, look at that. Everything is fried here as well. It's just unbelievable. Lots and lots of stuff to fix. But I was thinking when I built this that this is gonna bite me in the ass eventually. Alright guys, this is probably the most agonizing fix I ever had to do in this game. So I wanna make sure I do everything right. No more silliness here. I'm done with it. There we go. Now we are talking. There are just a few more cables right here. Let's exchange them all. Alright, so this should solve our frying circuits issue forever. Hopefully, at least for this area. <laughs> Solar panels are tracking the sun correctly. Everyone is happy. Jeez, I need to go back to bed, guys. I'm done. I'm freaking done. Oh man. But of course I want to fix my stuff first. So let's uh, go inside, I guess. And there we go. Everything is freaking fixed. I just love it. We are also getting back up to 100%. So maybe that was actually part of the problem that I had some fried circuits. But now it shouldn't happen anymore. Anything that is connected to the battery is now going through heavy copper cables. And everything that comes after an APC unit is having the normal cables. Okay, guys. I need to go. I need to go. I need to sleep. And just forget about the world for the time being. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.